I regret to inform you guys that Kishimoto, Masashi Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto's most recent piece of work, Samurai 8, has been cancelled. The news broke this morning that in the next couple of chapters the series will be ending. And what sucks is that I literally have just finished catching up to it yesterday. I binged the last 20 or so chapters of the series that I hadn't read since my last review in order to make a catch-up video on everything that I had missed. Little did I know though that that video was going to be this. Now first up, I want to say this. And although I understand the cancellation, I mean, deep down, I think most of us could see it coming. Some people have really exposed how... I don't know what the word is. Sad, weird, I honestly don't have a word for it. And the people I mean are the people who are actively celebrating the cancellation of Samurai 8. Especially the people who don't even read the series or have never read the series at all. And this isn't just exclusive to Samurai 8 by the way. There's this whole state of mind in the community that I just... I can't understand. I have never celebrated or discussed a series I don't like. When I find a series I don't really click with, I just pop it down and pick up something else. It's, it's surely, it's that simple. I have no issues with criticisms or saying your reasons for not really gelling with that series. But when it becomes absolute blatant hate for a series you don't read, that's when I think it just becomes this weird obsession that I just find so weird. People treat manga and anime like a sport. Some people will pick a series and stick with that no matter what, like it's their favourite sports team and anything else that could be any form of competition to it is automatically they must hate it, say anything bad about it, can't say anything good about it at all. And I just think it's so, so weird. I understand people having some annoyance towards Shueisha, the company behind Weekly Shonen Jump, because yes, I agree, Kishimoto did definitely get some special treatment. Any other no-name mangaka that bought out, bought out a new series that was putting up the same numbers as Samurai 8 there's no way in hell that it would have lasted as long. But to be angry at Kishimoto or the series, that's the part I just don't get. Listen, I enjoy Samurai 8. I'm not a massive fan. I am somewhat invested into some aspects of the story and some of the characters. Hachimaru and Anne's relationship, for example, personally, in my opinion, it was one of, if not the best, current hero and heroine combination and partnership in the magazine right now. It wasn't one that ignored the very quite apparent aspects of love, which most shonen magazines just make. They put sprinkle them in there to get fans shipping characters together, but they never actually adventure into that aspect of the story. So I liked how Kishimoto went away from the norm in that sense. I also had a personal soft spot for Ryu as well. Anyone who watched my reviews when I did them will know that. But I think really you can trace the downfall of Samurai 8 back to the beginning and even before then. Shueisha gave this series so much hype and attention way before its initial release that, to be quite honest, it really didn't need. It was marketed more than any other new manga that I think I've ever seen. And I understand this is because it's one of their golden boys. It's Kishimoto's new series. We've got to build hype around it and let everyone know. But Kishimoto's name in it of itself is already giving it more of a marketable boost than any other new series that the that the magazine produces. You won't say, like I said, another no-name mangaka will never get marketing like this. They'll be lucky if people over outside of Japan even know when a new series is coming out. Whereas with Samurai 8, you couldn't move for it. And with a somewhat slow and patient start, I think people's expectations were so high and the fact that they were expecting something that they probably didn't get is where the downfall starts to begin. 
I know for a fact that nowadays, with everything, everything being so instantaneous and on demand, that people want that payoff without having to sit through the build-up. They don't want the so-called boring bits. And that doesn't just stick with anime and manga. That uh, that fits into everything nowadays, really. And Samurai 8 had a lot of exposition and a lot of build-up. And I just don't think it took off with the majority of the readers. And I know that with some people, like myself, and even more than me, Samurai 8 really stuck with people. Some people absolutely adored the series and would defend it to the death. And I understand that. Every series has that fandom like that. But Shueisha, their demographic, they don't look an individual person on the screen and say, yeah, well, this person likes it, this person likes it, this person likes it. They will just look at numbers. They will purely look at numbers. And if this number isn't as big as this number then this number is the one that's going to be going and they'll bring in something else in hope that it will reach the same number as the other series. And it doesn't help that early on, the art, it, it was quite confusing. That has since been rectified in the official release of the volumes, but by that point, the damage, unfortunately, has already been done. But it wasn't only the art. The art was the addition to it. It was the, the, the sprinkling on top of the story, which... To be honest, again, was quite confusing. It's not something that I think the initial demographic of Jump readers really gelled with. And that's not to say the story was bad, because some of the themes of it and some of the characters, like I said, I enjoyed and I could stick with them and I enjoyed it. But, like I said, for the majority, I don't think they were interested in it. And at the end of the day, it's actually Akira Okubo who I feel the most for. This was his big break in the industry as a manga artist. And unfortunately, it's crumbled. And I know I said the art was confusing, but I do think he's a good artist. He improved very quickly to a standard that was above, in my opinion, a lot of other manga. And I do genuinely think and hope he, sh he will get another chance in the magazine. In fact, Okubo, please go and work on the Boruto manga. Please go and draw that. That that series is calling out for you to give it art that works with the story. You know, it needs art that is as good as the story. So please, Okubo, Kishimoto, this didn't work out. Samurai didn't work out. Become a team and go and join over on Boruto's side. Please. But... What I want to ask you guys now in the comment section down below is what do you think is next for Kishimoto? Will he just simply retire now? Will he maybe try again with the new series? Or maybe, like I was saying, will he go and work full time on Baruto? Because at the minute he's just a supervisor. He will read it when it's when it's finished and, and maybe correct a few things here and there. But at the end of the day, his involvement in Baruto isn't that much it's mainly Kadachi that sees over the Boruto side so maybe Kishimoto will become more influenced over on that side let me know in the comment section down below personally I think it's in Kishimoto's best interest that he lays low right now because this Samurai 8 was his his prized possession he spent a lot of time planning for this which is why I think is one of the reasons it got so marketable leading up to its release and with it quite honestly failing that's going to be a, a massive hit on his confidence. So in my opinion, I think he should just lay low, come back with a new series, maybe. But in this day and age, when everything's, like I said, so easily to access and look back on, is it always going to be a little taint on his legacy? I don't know. I'll still read whatever it is he brings out, if he brings out anything. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. Maybe I'll review the last few chapters of Samurai 8 if that's what you're interested in. I'll see you guys in another video, but until then, peace.